story. story. It sounds sounds so mysterious mysterious and intimidating, intimidating, doesn't it? Something that only only sacred sacred initiates can do. I kind of blame this guy for that. It's a story. You're telling a story. You can do that. This can help. This video is just three practical tools or tricks that you can use when you're trying to work on a story. All right, here goes. Number one, story versus plot. There are a million theories on the difference between story and plot, but I just want to focus on a practical use of this difference. Here's how I look at it. Story is what happens. Plot is how you tell it. Story is the experience of the people in the events. It's what happens to them, what they do, how they feel, and it's chronological because our human experience is chronological. Plot is how you tell us that story. Is there a narrator? Do you switch from one person's experience to another? Do you tell things in the order that they happen to the people in the story? There are a lot of different ways you can tell the same story. The practical use of this tool is recognize there is a difference between what happens and how you tell it. So when you run into a problem, check which one you're dealing with. Is the problem in the story or the plot? It's a simple idea, but you'll be surprised how useful it is when you get all tangled up trying to figure out your script. Okay, tip number two. Work backwards. I mean, when you get stuck or you can't figure out what happens next or something's not working, look at where you want to end up. Like, at the end of this scene, this character has to steal a pineapple. Or at the end of this story, these people have to agree. Once you've made that choice, then you can ask yourself, what does it take for them to get there? Or why can't they get there right now? It works for a scene, it works for the story as a whole. Looking at where you want to end up makes you ask, what's happening here? Who is this about? What do they want? What am I trying to say? Those are useful questions, and you always ask them if you work backwards. Okay, number three, character physics. Don't panic, no math involved. This is not real physics, but it is inspired by Sir Isaac Newton's laws of motion, which are often explained in terms of billiard balls. I do not have a real billiard ball, but that's okay. You'll see why in just a second. The principle here is, this is not going anywhere unless something knocks into it. Once it gets knocked into, it keeps going in the same direction until it gets where it's headed or it knocks into something else. Now, this is where it's better that I didn't try to use a real billiard ball because I would have had to borrow one and then I couldn't do this. The laws of motion apply to characters. A character will not go into motion unless they are acted upon by a force. This force can be something internal. It can be something they feel. It can be something they want. Once a character is in motion, they will keep going in that direction until they strike or get struck by another character or force. Now, This is a faulty scientific analogy in every way, but it reminds you to put your characters in motion for a reason, and it keeps you from letting them change direction for no reason. That's it. Bada bing, bada boom. Three simple story tools. Story is what happens. Plot is how you tell it. Work backwards. Character physics. Keep them in mind when you're working on a story and your work will get better, and your life will get nicer, and that's not bad for five minutes on YouTube. All right, that's enough for now. Go write something. If you like this video, like this video, and subscribe to this channel. What do you all want to hear about? Tell me in the comments. Ask me questions. I will answer. If you'd like to work with me on your script one-on-one, go to writingforscreens.com. And that's it. Until next time.
use a real billiard ball. Now, that's it. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, boss. Click the like button. Hit subscribe. Click the like button. Hit subscribe. Push things all over the place. Wilson!